I no longer believe in the quality of leadership around President Muhammad Buhari, says Governor Nasu El Rufai. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. Governor Nasu El Rufai of Kaduna State has again come down hard on the presidency, saying he no longer believes in the leadership of President Muhammad Buhari. Recall that following the recent cash policy by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Governor El Rufai had raised the alarm that some elements in the presidency were working against the party's presidential candidate, Ashwa Jubala Tinumbu. The Kaduna state governor, who vowed that those in Tinumbu's camp would defeat the cabals, said they would be unmasked in due time. Speaking with some reporters, Governor El Rufai alleged that some persons in the presidency who backed another aspirant during the APC primary election were using Buhari to actualize their plans. Governor El Rufai, though, declares that he still believed in President Buhari. He no longer trusts those working around him. The Cardinal State Governor was quoted as saying, I believe in Buhari, I still do, and I will never stop. But I no longer believe in the circle around him and the quality of decisions and actions coming out of that leadership. So this is Nasir Erufai again coming down hard on the presidency. If you may recall that he was the first person that came out to confirm all Ashwa Jibala Metinumbu has been saying during his campaign tour around states in Nigeria. Remember Ashwa Jibala Metinumbu said things like, we are going to cease power from them. He also said, they have created a fuel scarcity and the cash crunch of the newly designed notes in order to sabotage his election. So when he came about with all of this, people were startled to say, what exactly is going on? Who are the they? Who are the them? And all of that. But we didn't have to wonder so long as Nasir Erufai granted an interview on various TV of the existence of Kabao, where he, he mentioned that is true. He said they are not actually members of APC, but they are powerful and always around the president. So they wield a very high amount of influence and decision-making process of President Muhammadu Buhari. Now, a lot of people have questioned as Nasir Erufai to say, you were a member of his think tank team. You were, you were inside. So why are you now standing aloof and, you know, coming down hard on the presidency? If you recall, he did also had um, a discussion in a video where he was advising people somewhere in Kaduna State that they should not swap their old Naira notes for the new Naira notes. That Ashwa Jibala Metinumbu is going to win the presidency election and he will revert the policy. So... Is not news actually that you know it's come this out again to say he doesn't believe in the circle. If you notice, he's just been very careful not to attack the president himself so that there will be room for you know um, reconciliation later on. So, but he's still going hard on the cabals, and the cabals, you know, um, have also decided to react allegedly when. Tunde Sabiu, who was named as the cabal by Najatu Muhammad, the aggrieved APC PCC presidential um, um, director, who came out to say Aisha Buari is also part of the cabal. I mentioned Tunde Sabiu and all of that. So it got Nigerian talking to be like, how can a few people wield so much influence on the president, so much that they are not using it to affect the lives of Nigerians positively? Because the suffering that Nigerians have endured in the last one, two weeks is unimaginable. People can have access to cash. They've mopped out all the old currencies literally out of circulation. And they're not giving new ones. A few minutes ago, there was a video of an elderly man who was weeping because um, he, he's, he hasn't eaten. And he has money in his account. He needs to eat. He needs to use his drugs. Do we want to send all our elderly people to their untimely graves? That is for even those people that have something in their account to, to feed on. What about those who are dependent on their children and their children cannot even access their money? How are they going to do it? So I don't think our government is feeling that this is life. <laughs> it's holding life, literally. Not everybody is banked. Nigeria is so largely unbanked. In a sane society, it will have been done in a manner that as much as possible, even if banks have to go from house to house to bank people, you know, and still be telling them, okay, come and swap your Naira, this and this and this. 
it cannot be one cap fit all in a country of a population of over 250 million Nigerians. So this is not a good farewell that the APC government has been doing to Nigerians because people are aggrieved, they are frustrated, they are depressed to be like, what? how can a government be so insensitive and inhumane to the plight of its people? How can a government sit somewhere in their air-conditioned office and be watching people go through this hell because they want to make a policy? What policy is more than the lives of Nigerians? It is not going to work. Our technological strength has in, uh, you know has been doing well so to speak because a lot of people have been doing cashless transactions even before this came about but the moment this was just brought to fore there were jam locks mobile apps were not accessible and even till now you do a transaction you've not seen it in two days three days one week so how are we supposed to cope economic activities has literally crippled because People who sell perishables are in serious mess right now. People are unable to buy and they are scared of people just giving, the, you know, it's just, just so much. But they are watching us just groan and lament and whatever, because if they really genuinely care about people, yes, the whole idea of it is good. But you don't punish one man in order for a million others to lose their lives or lose their means of livelihood or, or get them depressed. The equation is not, is not, it doesn't make sense. Any law that will bring severe pain several days to its citizens is no law. It's not a good law. So I don't know why Governor Nasir Arufai now, maybe some people alleged that he was pushed out. He wanted to be a part of the cabal. He was not allowed to be part of the cabal. So he wants to position himself strategically with Ashiba Jibola Ahmed Tinumbu. And that's why he's coming out with his full chest to say, okay. I am here, I want to stand for Tinumbu and all of that. It could be true because our politicians are rolling stones. You know, they would always find a patch where they know that they will be relevant and all of that. So this is the plight. But one thing Erufai has refused to do is to categorically name the cabals. He said in an interview a few hours ago that what your opinion not on this? Kindly anybody. drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you cabal. so much for so watching. So when you know that, you know like, share, and subscribe to Why our channel. Why are you not speaking? We'll Why see you, you in the next news. Names? May God bless Nigeria. A man who is sure Bye what he's saying should be able to mention names.